Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on the Emma Gardner channel. So I've had a lot of requests on how to properly save broccoli seed. And let me tell you, there is nothing more simple in the whole wide world. So basically what you're going to look for is we have some prime examples here of some unripe seed pods. These are obviously green. Uh, you know, you can take one here and uh, if you open them up, they're going to have seeds in them. They don't really split open all that easily. The seeds are not mature, they're green. As you can see, whoopsie, whoa, rolling around there. See, it's very green, definitely not mature. Um, I could take it and I could kind of just crush it. It's uh, obviously not going to sprout, it's going to mold and rot because there's a very high water content. So what we're going to look for is basically some dried uh, flower, uh, flower stalks here. This is a prime example of one. It's very brittle, it's very dry. It's obviously much, much more brown in contrast. As you can see, there's the, there's the green one, there's the brown one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to remove this flower stalk, kind of get it out of the way here. And uh, that way we can make our life a little bit easier. So we have those and um, I don't really see any more in there. So we're gonna let the rest dry, but we're gonna handle these right now. So what you want is just a glass jar or a bowl or something to store your seed pods. And you're just going to come along here and you're just going to take your fingers and kind of just crack the seeds because the thing is when they dry like this they uh, basically are very brittle and you're just going to crack the seed pods right over the uh, right over the jar and if you get some seed pods in there some part of the seed pods obviously you're gonna get um, you know some of the some of the husk in there from the from the seed pod itself, not just the seeds. We're gonna handle that later. Obviously, if they don't crack, like this one is still a little green, this one right here that I'm talking about, this one, you press it, doesn't really crack. Obviously, I don't want those seeds. Those are not really mature seeds. They're not as dry and they're going to rot. So I'm gonna get rid of those. So here's another example of green one. You can tell that it's, when you press it, it's not really brittle. It doesn't really pop open. It doesn't have a crunch to it. So. We're just gonna keep crushing these seed pods here and, um, and putting the seeds right in this jar. And also, uh, one thing that I did not have, but I would seriously suggest if you're saving a lot of seed, um, is to either do it over the garden, because you're going to be losing a lot of seed. There is obviously loose seed that, um, you know, if I shake this, I'm feeling, I'm feeling seeds actually hit my, hit my fingers because some, some of these pods have already dried and broken open, because that's naturally what they do. And if you do this over the garden, you're gonna have lots of volunteer broccoli plants the next year. Um, and, and that's obviously something that, that is nice. Or make sure you do it over kind of like a tarp so that all of the broken seeds can, or all the seeds that fall from the broken seed pods can kind of be rolled up and then saved uh, later instead of just going into the grass. But you know, we're gonna have lots here and I did not have that. So I'm just going to work with what I got. So now that we're left with uh, the seeds and some of the, the uh, finer, you know, kind of chaff, I guess you'd call it, um, we obviously don't want this here. So what we're going to do is just give it a shake to break open any last, you know, shake it pretty hard because it's not going to hurt the seeds inside. But all we're going to do is just kind of break open any remaining, um, any remaining seed pods that have some seeds left in there. And then we're just going to shake it down to settle the seeds because the seeds, as you'll notice, have settled all down here in the bottom because uh, the way that particles actually will separate is from larger particle size to smaller particle size. So you'll have all the smaller, more dense particles, AKA the seeds down on the bottom and you're left with the chaff up top. So all you have to do is really either, sometimes I'll just rake my fingers in, make sure I don't have any seeds. Obviously I don't have any in that bunch. Or what you can do is you can even give it a shake like this and then bring it back and kind of resettle and then, and then bring it to the top and shake it kind of over your hand until you start to see some seeds falling out because the heavier seeds will stay down and obviously you know you still have um, all your seeds still in the bottom there because all of your seeds stay kind of down in this region and all the chaff kind of stays up, up top here. So I'm going to uh, basically just remove a few more of these and then we'll get down to the, the nitty gritty refining where if you want just the seeds, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that now. 
So now that we've refined all of the, the seed kind of down to the, the lower kind of 98% pure range, we have some kind of stuff in here that I can take a lot of time to get that kind of stuff out, um, but it's gonna take a lot of time to refine it. And you have some stuff that obviously you can't grab because it's inviolable seed, seeds that are immature or um, have not formed completely. Uh, and they're just not going to sprout anyways. Those are really light particles. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick my mouth to the end of this jar here and just blow. And I'm gonna tilt the jar sideways so that, the, so that my air goes in and it actually blows the, the lighter particles out. So here, check this out, see if this works. <laughs> yeah, it works. I'm just gonna do that again. Because it kind of, the, the wind, if you can tell, kind of makes a, uh, makes a, like a cyclone, and the lighter particles will actually get picked up and shot out. <laughs> Whew. Yep, it works. Just gotta watch your eyes. <laughs> See, and then pretty much, you're left with, you're left with pretty much pure seed. that you can use. So there you go, that is how you harvest broccoli seed. And also, just an FYI, this also applies to all brassica families. So this applies to your kale, this applies to uh, mustard greens, um, what else, uh, bok choy, uh, cauliflower, broccoli, uh, cabbage, um, Brussels sprouts, you know, you name it. If it's a brassica family vegetable, this will apply because it, um, it basically is all the same type of kind of seed pod. Uh, it's just obviously a different vegetable. So uh, yeah, there you go, very simple, very quick. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you learned something new and I hope you all will ch uh, save your seeds. Obviously make sure they are an heirloom because if you save a hybrid seed, you're not going to be sure what the outcome is since it was got uh, two crossed vegetables. So you're going to get obviously one or the other or a crazy weird combination. Um, so just make sure they're an heirloom so you know what you're going to be getting the next season. Um, and yeah, so go save them. It's a great way to uh, save money in the garden and also preserve the biodiversity, which I think is very, very important. So until next episode, this is Luke from MI Gardener, hoping you're growing big or going home. I'll catch y'all later. See ya. Bye.